Hi, I'm Miss Hearn. Let's get started. We started this last time. We talked about how a measure of center is a middle value of the data set. Um, and that three common measures of center are mean, median, and mode. And when we talk about the mean or arithmetic mean, we're talking about what most people call an average value. We talked about how we have certain symbols that we need to be familiar with. This is, should be in your notes from last time. The summation symbol, the Greek capital um, sigma, and, and that is just telling you add stuff up, right? And then X is used to uh, represent a, da a particular data value. N is the number of data values in a sample, that's lowercase n. <coughs> Capital N is the total number of data values in the entire population. Um, X bar represents the mean of the data values in a sample, that's red X bar. And lowercase mu represents the mean of the data values in a population. So notice that the mean X bar is a statistic and the mean mu is a parameter. Okay, um, we gave an example of calculating the mean where we just have a list of data. It was 10 students in a math class were polled and we found the average, right? Um, wait, how do we find an average? We add up all the data and divide by the number of pieces of data, right? Good. So what does this symbol mean here? sum of all the data values, that's right. Sigma x means just, remember formulas and statistics are not like formulas in algebra, they're not, um, you don't just plug into them, it's telling you steps. So this is the sum of all the data values, turned out to be 29, there were 10 data values. So to get x bar, the, uh, the mean, we were going to add up the data values and divide by n, so 29 over 10 is 2.9 is the average or mean number of siblings in that data set. So we talked about that last time. Okay, um, we talked about how to calculate a GPA. Do you remember that? Yeah. So this is a different kind of mean. It's called a weighted mean. Because if you get, for example, let's see, um, an A and a B, it doesn't necessarily mean that you add 4 and 3 and divide by 2 to get 3.5, right? Yeah. Because the A might be worth more than the B depending on what? The, point. the oh. points or credit hours, yeah. that's right. So if your A happens to be in a 5 credit hour class and your B is in a 1 credit hour class, you definitely don't want the school giving you a 3.5. So you treat it as though you had five classes of one credit hour that you got A's in all of them and only one class of one credit hour that you got a B. Or in other words, you multiply the, the weight, five, times your score, four, and the weight, one, times three, and then add those two together and divide by not the number of classes, which is two, but the number of credit hours. That's right, good. So we did that last time, we got a weighted mean to uh, make it easier, you can put it into a chart. This is basically a frequency distribution where the credits are telling you um, the weight of the grade, but also you could think of it as like the frequency, then how often a credit gives you that many points. So when you do that, you have the data values, you have your frequencies, and you just multiply across. So in this, this person has, um, uh, an A in math, a B in history, an A in health, and a C in art. So the math is worth five credits, history is worth three credits, health is worth two credits, and art is worth two credits. Um, why do we add up the frequencies? We added them up and we got 12. Why did we do that? Well, you have to add them up to find the mean because you have to divide by it. Because we have to <laughs> divide by it, that's right, good. So we multiply the grade points times the number of credits, then we add those up. That's <coughs> adding up the data values because it's really like we had five um, math classes of one credit each and in each of them we got a four. 
So you added up the frequencies on the previous slide here. We, we multiplied across and then added up, okay? And then we get a grade point average of 41 twelfths, which turns out to be 3.42. Okay, so you remember doing that, right? All right, so what we saw is that we had to add up the products of the data times the frequencies, that's the numerator, and then we had to add up the frequencies and divide those two values. Remember the sum of the frequencies is n. You can write sum of frequencies or you can just write n. All right, then we did this example, and it was a list of salaries, and how many people had that salary was the frequency. And so we multiplied straight across to find the average we multiplied straight across, we added up each of these columns, F, remember we need the sum of the F's in the denominator and the sum of the products in the numerator. And so it turned out to be um, the sum of the frequencies was 10, the sum of the data values was 174,400, so we just divide. And we ended up with an average salary of 17,440. So that's pretty much where we left off last time. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please remember to like it.